Good morning folks, it's Mark from Dark Sky Eco Retreat here in Coonabarabran, New South Wales, Australia. We're doing a little bit of observation of Three Eye Atlas right here on uh, about the 29th of October 2025 and here we have it right here being processed uh, this is 63 images we've seen and we've got 3 Eye Atlas right there you can see a tail off the bottom of it which is actually the back of it and the front of it a little small tail I think and, uh, and we can see here that we've processed 63 images using the Celestron Origin and we've got that pointing directly to the east more or less uh, at about 4.30 a.m. in the morning so we've got our old friend 3 Eye Atlas back which is really neat and here we have the imaging that we've got going and the observation I've seen it with the naked eye we've got the 11 inch Celestron telescope right here with the Pegasus Smart Eye doing its bit and it is imaging 3 Eye Atlas a little bit hard to see let me just change the the view right there for you all and you can see 3 Eye Atlas right there in the center doing its thing right next to those two reference stars so we saw those two reference stars on the origin as well and you can see a little bit of tail going on there we're imaging that at the moment and i'll go back to the broader view and that's how we're imaging it i'm just going to turn my headlight off for you all so you can get a better look at it and that's kind of what we're looking at right now i'm going to be able to download those this is getting clearer than we're seeing with the origin we're getting a little bit more detail right there so we're starting to see some tail action there's those two reference stars that we were talking about a couple of other little stars in the background right there 3 i is currently in virgo and you can see there on the planetarium that i'm using to find it that we're at 3 i atlas that is currently in virgo it's very quite low on the horizon for us and uh and we can see there's east and there's northeast and there it is right there in Virgo. Let's go back and have another look at what's going on here without my headlamp on. On the stacked images, we've now got 78 stacked images that are occurring right here that we can see starting to come through. I'll be able to develop those later. I'll put them on our Facebook uh, and reference that in the uh, in the short video that we've got here but we can see the quite a long tail coming down here a little bit of a tail at the front of it once again those two reference stars just there and we've got a bunch of other reference stars that are around it and uh, and that's developed nicely so so after a short time we'll be able to press uh, download and save and we should be able to to uh, to capture those images and uh, it's actually starting to elongate a little bit there you can see the nucleus at the very front a little bit hard to see uh, on the video as it's been captured there but that's going to that's going to create quite a nice photograph for us I think by the time we get the stacked images uh, and I'll put those up as I say onto our Facebook um, and I'll reference that in the uh, in, in the comments or in in, uh, in the video down at the bottom in the notes so that you'll be able to find that but here it all is happening very nicely I'm just going to go back and give you one last look right in here at the eyepiece if I can find it let's turn my headlamp off that's what it's looking like in the eyepiece so it's developing very nicely I'll get a good gander of that with a naked eye there's those two reference stars again the elongated tail coming off the the back of it the whole nucleus type thing is elongating against the reference stars there i'm guessing that's because it's moving quick 
and uh, and my equipment is focusing on the stars and tracking the stars in the background and the elongation is because this bad boy is moving fast and it's closer uh, to us at you know approximately 3 AU or whatever it currently is at the moment um, on its way to Jupiter which is really neat we can uh, can sort of see Jupiter there it is there so there's Jupiter so here's my telescope and action working and there's Jupiter right there that little dot and if we come around back to the direction that we're looking at we're sort of heading off to the east there and enjoying the views of Three Eye Atlas. Anyway folks, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll keep you up to date. Thank you.